Right, hopefully you've watched the other video, the first video where we designed a little plant pot. Um, it wasn't the quickest video in the world. I struggled a little bit, but I'm getting there. There was other ways of doing it. There's 10 ways of doing something, to be fair. But um, we got them in, hopefully. Now, I want to change the filament. This is the one I want to go for. Pretty little pinky sort of colour, I think it is. What's it called? Um, this is the... Uh, Christ knows. This is the um, matte... Mirandi or Mirandi, Mirandi purple. It's a really nice colour, these are. So, what we're going to do, bring the camera over, I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, I'll get it out of the packet in a minute and I'll put the other one back in there. This PLA, I think, is quite forgiving, so I'm not sure if you need to keep it dry. And all the other ones, you have to keep dry and stuff like that. A little while about condensation and dampness. So, what I'm going to do now, um, the printer switched on, and we're going to go around the back. I'll show you a few settings on the little screen. Um, you can do it on the computer. I think I'll do it on a tiny screen up there in case you're not at your PC. My PC is next to my printer, but late date if I get any more printers, obviously there won't be space. I might move them outside somewhere. But uh, just for now, I think I'm going to do it on the screen here. It's a little bit easier on the computer screen, I think. I'm going to do it on a tiny little on the screen on the um, machine and see what happens. But basically what you do, you go into a couple of settings, it warms the nozzle up, then it retracts it, you pull it out, then you push a new one back in. So I'm going to do that now. While that's warming up on a get a, I don't think I've got a knife, I'll have to rip that bag open and then swap them over. So we'll do that right now. Follow me. So the printer switched on. I put the light on I went into the um, the bamboo studio sense put the light on the light to see what's going on. We've got a black reel of filament around the back. Now on here, I've only done this once myself, on here you'll see that's lit up there, a little triangle. It's not the best see so coming over to the right hand side here. I think you come down. Now you've got the 22, 22 right, so you come across and then come down to feeding. Hit OK. Well, there you go. Come down. Unload. Does it stuff. Unloading says heat the nozzle. If you go onto the Bamboo Studio software, you'll get a similar readout to this. I'm hoping you can see that. So it has to heat that nozzle up first before it can pull the um, filament out. It now says cut filament. Please pull back current filament. So you go round the back of the machine and you should be able to pull this filament out gently. There you go, just pull that out. Tie it up later on. We'll take that off. Just about enough gap there. We've done that. There you go. That's done. So that's the black one removed. Um, I'm gonna grab the end of it and just pull it and tighten it up a little bit. Keep it nice and tidy. Actually, see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna unwind it a little bit. I'm gonna keep it, try and keep it nice and neat. Put it through a couple of holes at the side there. For now, you can get little clips you can print up if you want. But that's the Eason I've mentioned before, it's a good price. Right, now we need to get the other filament. Now, I do need a sharp knife, really. God, let me do that with and the sharp knife. I haven't got a sharp knife. Team U calipers. I've done it. Right. Let's load this one up. So what we're going to do now, like a lovely, I love these matte colours. Pop that out. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to trim that a little bit. There's always a little bit bent bit on there. You just get some side cuts and I've trimmed off. I haven't been doing that lately. I think you should really, but um, let's jump around the back of the machine. Put this one on. Well, what I do, I like to take this little lid off carefully, the glass lid, put that somewhere safe, and take the filament here. And I hope you can see that. Put it on the little hook. Now you got this coming up the top here. There's a little pipe here, white pipe. Poke it through. You should really take that bend bit off. Oh, 
hold this. I'm not sure if you can see that. So I'm just holding this white pipe because it does move a bit and I'm pushing the, the filament through. And you can see the colour feeding through there. Feed it through, feed it through, feed it through. I think you should cut that bend bit off really at the end. Doesn't help. I feed that through as far. I hold this little PGFE white pipe because it does, you can sometimes push it too far, push it out. Like so. Now let's come down to the screen. So we come down to the screen now. It's on the same screen here. So we go load. Press OK. Nozzle is always heated up. It's heated up already, so it shouldn't take so long. Heat the nozzle. You sometimes have to do this twice. It shouldn't take long to heat up. It's already been to temperature. Again, you can do this on the actual bamboo lab studio. Right, confirm whether filament has. I think it's, it's asking you to look. Been, come on, slow, isn't it? Extruded. So what you do, you under this little glass door at the front. You're just looking inside to see if there's any filament extruded there, and there isn't. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to poke this in a bit more, again, and I'm going to click retry on there. And you should see some filament start poking through. Through there. Come on. Can't see anything yet. Right, for your info, I just shot downstairs, got a pair of scissors, come back up, I cut the end off. You can't have that bend like that, you better have it nice and clean. So, um, another little tool for the tool kit I didn't mention before. A little pair of side cutters would be nice. Just trim that lamp off at the end. And that should work now. Fed it back through. I'm going to click retry, see what happens. Right, thank you for watching that short little video. As before, like, subscribe. That's the old filament taken away, the new filament put in and purged. And it's coming through that little dark pinky colour. Next video will be printing the vase. We're going to get the input the file into Bambi Studio. Play about with a few little settings, but normally the default's okay. I've already got um, the eSum uh, filament sort of in the drop down, so we'll do that. And then I'm going to look at the slicing. I'm going to try and the bottom base on the vase. If you watch the first video, the bottom base is going to be solid. But it creates the infill, but I'm going to drag the slider down the side. We'll have a look at what sort of infill we've got and what sort of times we've got when we can vary it because it doesn't need to be as hard as now as that bottom bit. So we're going to play about that. So see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.